Hello friends, once again we welcome you on our channel Shipping in Box. Today we are going to talk about first ever lady captain brought a ship for scrap at Alang Ship Recycling Yard in India. The Alang Ship Breaking Yard in India was established in way back in 1983 and during the 38 years of its existence, 8,351 ships have arrived here for demolition. But this is the first time a female captain arrived with a ship. Uh, 25,553 metric ton oil tanker ship Sally Kunstan, which was beached at plot number 63 of Alang Ship Breaking Yard on the night of September 9, 2021, has brought by Swedish woman captain Sofia Lundmark. Sofia is one of the rare lady captains to be found on ship. Sofia revealed that I have been involved in shipping for the last 22 years, but I have never felt the current like the gulf of can be anywhere in the world it is also dangerous to anchor a ship and heave up the anchor 24 year surveillance is required from ship's bridge room i was a little confused when the ship arrived in alang she said sophia lundmark has deep experience in loading and unloading ship in her career so far but it was the first experience of beaching a ship. She said it would have been impossible without the help of local shore pilot Purvajit Singh Sarvaya, who was skilled in his work and was constantly guiding the ship in matters including speed, direction, current and had a definite direction of what he was doing to bring the ship ashore. He is fairly professional shore captain. Sophia added that only 2% of the world ships have a lady captain. Although women are now moving to, to become a captain, in her opinion, to be a captain of a ship, you need to be strong in mind and heart. One should be able to ignore what people say. The crew members on board the ship live like a small society, having to stay in the water for months. Yet a sailor loves the waves rising in the ocean. Let's listen what Captain Sophia has opined in her words. This is Sophia Lundmark and I'm from Gothenburg, Sweden. Um, which it belongs to Scandinavia, north of Europe. Um, I'm born and raised there, I'm 47, and I started in shipping 1999. I started on passenger vessels, and then uh, after I graduated, I started on tankers. I became captain 2017, and this is the first female captain on shutter tankers. And now um, I've been working at sea for over 20 years. I've been on container vessels, passenger ships, cruise ships, but my favorite is tankers. I've been on shuttle tankers for, for over 10 years. I worked seven years as ship officer before I became captain. And it's not very easy and it's not many female captains in the world. I think we are around 2% but luckily it's getting more and more. Um, there are a few third mates, second mates, not so many chief officers and very, very few sailing captains. But I hope it will be more in the future. How would you spell about uh, your first experience of uh, ship beaching for scrap? Well, first of all, I was a bit nervous, I must admit that, but the pilot was very good and he had a very calm voice. Uh, you could tell that he knew exactly what he was doing, so he was extremely professional, and that calmed me down. It is not so easy outside the line because the current is very, very strong, and sometimes when you heave up the anchor or anchor, it is difficult. Normally, we have a shutter tanker has a lot of thrusters, so we have a lot of power. We have two engines, and we have two bow thrusters, one azimuth thruster, and a forward, and two stern thrusters, but as we need to have a very light ship when you 
beach. You have no use of these thrusters. You only have any in every propeller which is submerged only 60%. So navigating is hard. But luckily, uh, but, or you can say a professional pilot, he knew exactly how the ship would behave, tell us the heading and the speed and everything. And he had full control and exactly with the times. So he made it very easy, something which would be difficult for me he made very easy for me. As a lady captain of ship, what type of challenges you have faced till now? Can you say again? Yeah. As a lady captain of ship, what type of challenges you have faced till now? I still have that some people don't respect me as I'm a woman. They talk over my head. They go to my chief mate instead of me or my chief engineer, just bec simply because they are men, right? And then they think that I don't know things, but I've been sent 20 years at sea and I know things, I know a lot. But people take for granted a lot and they don't expect things to be the way they are. So they talk over my head and they disrespect me. That's something I don't like. During your career, how many types of vessel you have handled? Oh, it would be passenger ships, cruise ships, container ships, um, train ferries, cargo ferries, normal tanker product chemicals, and so and shuttles. So we are up in age. Mm -hmm. According to you, which type of ships are most difficult to handle, and why? Well. In a way, shutter tankers are difficult to handle because they are so complex with two engines and all the thrusters, but they are easy to maneuver when you have all this power. A container ship, on the other hand, is differently built and they often don't have any thrusters. So it depends on what you're going to do. On DP, shutter tanker, because we have DP, then you have to lay still in exactly the correct position and weather and wind can make that very difficult. And then you are behind an FSO, like maybe 75 meters, and then you have to be precise. So all ships are difficult, but in their own ways. And what type of message you have, uh, you want to give uh, to young girls and lady to join ships and as a captain or as a crew member? You have to be strong in your mind and in your heart and you have to ignore some things, what people say and what people do. I learned this in life, the higher I go in rank, the less problems I have. I don't have problems with my crew members, it's for sure people who never met me, who doesn't know what I know. My crew members, they respect me highly, but they know my knowledge and they're always going to be less good people in this world but sometimes you have to be bigger than them and just go up and, and ignore it and move on you have to have faith in yourself thank you very much for talking with uh, shipping inbox you're welcome thankful to you for watching this video till the end we'll meet you in the next story with some interesting subject till then stay tuned with shipping inbox and stay safe at home bye bye